between Everton and Rangers. They've arrived in broadcasting house in Glasgow via London, via Eurovision and via satellite from Dubai. The fact that they've been all over Europe will do no harm to Scottish football whatsoever. The match was of the highest quality. Indeed, Rangers scored 16 times. To explain, eight of these were in the penalty shootout, six were disallowed and two stood. The English champions were already one goal up from a first half which they'd dominated when Stephen created an opening for the second. He cut the ball back to Watson who, despite the late arrival of the Ibrox defence, was able to find a gap to beat Woods. Two goals down and time was running out for Rangers playing in white. But with ten minutes left, Robert Fleck gave Rangers a lifeline. He'd had four goals chalked off, but this one was allowed to stand. So, just as he'd done in the Skull Cup final, Robert Fleck had brought the Ibrox team back into the game, with the 8,000 local support now right behind the Scottish champions. But Everton had a chance to steal the show as Shidi broke on the left and gave Sharp the chance of scoring Everton's third. Only Woods' reaction prevented the goal. Rangers pressed forward with just a few minutes remaining and appeared to score an equaliser. But the Welsh referee for the sixth time in the match disallowed a Rangers effort. This time McCoy saw a second of his goals rolled offside. Only four minutes were left in the clock when Rangers mounted yet another attack. It was scorer Fleck who put through McCoy and this time the chip was allowed to stand. Two goals apiece and that was the end of scoring over 90 minutes. The game then moved into penalties and with each side having converted seven out of seven, Richard Goff stepped up for Rangers eighth. It was then the turn of Ian Snowden to keep Everton in the match. On by Trevor Stephen, this is Sharp, Heath in the middle. Trevor Stephen, Heath, let it go, Sheedy! And a really nice attack from Everton. Built down the right, finished by the man coming in from the left. Taking a very central position. Durant, this is a good piece of play. Real opportunity for him, Sheedy the challenge. The goalkeeper out, but what a good run by Ian Durant. Pity he couldn't find the finish, but it certainly brought one or two to their feet. And here's Durant. Oh, handball. Well, the referee can only have thought that that was accidental, but Durant certainly drove the ball against Watson's left hand from my viewpoint. Well, there's no doubt about it, is there? Sheedy. Free kick. Comes to Stephen. Oh, well played. Dave Watson did that quite superbly. He wasn't challenged and he allowed the ball to run so that he could balance himself for the shot. Satisfied chairman of Everton on the left. Phillips. Ferguson, a little unlucky. Initially seemed to take a certain amount of time to get it under control, but got himself an angle. And he really wasn't very far away. Roberts. Rangers a bit more possession in the last three or four minutes, but Everton battening down the hatches somewhat. Scott Nisbet. His control let him down. Durant. Fleck. And this time, this strike does count. And 
the chips in town come from rival camps, that is clear. Good finish. And gives us an interesting finale. Rangers were to get an equaliser. That would be decided on a penalty competition. As last year. This has been a very much better match than that was. Rashidi, who started the scoring. And Sharp, who's back for a fine save by Woods, would surely have ended it. Rashidi's cross. Good turn over the top from Chris Woods. Phillips. I think he quite intended that. Gets a good return. Fleck. Player wide to the right. McCoy is offside. He's offside. McCoy well, certainly made a run. He wasn't just standing there, but I think he'd gone too soon. Under three minutes remaining on our watches. Ferguson. McCoy. And it's two apiece. Thirty-first goal of the season. Scored by the Scottish Sports Personality of the Year. What a good finish. Ferguson. Durant. Good turn. Great save. Very good turn, and a brilliant tip over by Neville Southall. So, all square, and with the locals on the edge of their seats, we went into a penalty shootout. So calmly done. So for the third time, an Evertonian has to score to keep his side in. This time it's Neil Poynton. Seven all. That's well, sort of increased just a bit. Fourteen successes. And a fifteen. Eight seven. Ian Snowden. Oh, and Chris Woods makes the save. And Rangers win the penalty competition at eight to seven. So Graham Souness's team, who were two down, are in the end the winners. The save that did it and... Uh... Months since the unfashionable Stour Bucharest took the European Cup behind the Iron Curtain, beating the multi-million pound Barcelona in a penalty shootout. Yet there's some degree of relief at Ibrox that it's the Romanians, not the West German champions Bayern, or the Spanish champions Real Madrid, who will provide the opposition. We didn't want um, the Spanish team or the German team. We haven't pulled them, so and that's a wee bonus. But this will be a hard game all the same. We're again going behind the Iron Curtain, so we know what to expect. But it'll be two very hard games, and it's really what happens on the nights. It's only 18 months since they won the European Cup. Mm -hmm. Have you seen much of them? No, I, the only time, and one and only time I've seen this, this particular side playing was in the European Cup final against Barcelona. I don't know anything about them. I'm sure they've had um, a lot of changes since then. On Monday, Rangers urged fans not to travel to the away tie, whatever the opposition. While the Ibrox club will not be asking the Romanians to withhold visas, fans could encounter problems entering the country. The manager, however, doesn't envisage difficulties with supporters. Really, when we go to places like that, we have our, our, our plates full of um, full thinking about the game and, and concentrating on the game. Um, I don't think they'll be issuing too many visas for, for Romania, so I don't suppose our, our supporter problem. Park now, well, Elliot is...